Let's talk about becoming deconditioned. One of the things about this book that I really like and I have definitely seen that I think is really valuable to understand is the idea that an elite athlete will become deconditioned within three days. So we're going to talk about that, what it means, and how we can make the most use of that. All right, so what does this mean? Quite simply, it just means that the better shape we're in or the better shape our clients are in, the faster we will become deconditioned if we take a break. And you can apply this to a lot of different, a lot of different things. But if someone has a high level of skill and they take a break, they're going to feel off initially. And that can be frustrating. So I think if we just understand this and we know how to work with it, we can make it, we can actually make it a benefit where it's not just a source of frustration. Because if we don't understand it and someone works up to a peak and they feel like they've gotten in really, or they recognize they've gotten in really good shape and they feel like they're established a new baseline for themselves. And then whether they go on a vacation or they have to take a break for some other circumstances, and then they come back, they can feel understandably very frustrated. So if we understand it, we can work with it. Um, this can be an indicator of that. Because if someone takes a long break and then they come back and they pick up right where they left off, that's a good indication that they probably weren't working out at an intensity level that was significant enough to see any progress in the first place. When I got, again, go back to when I got started, I was working in a, in a gym in a downtown area. This is more than 20 years ago. So we had a lot of members of that gym who didn't come from a fitness background. They were people, some of them were probably just working out because the gym was across the street from where they worked and it was convenient. An awful lot of people who had started working out in their 30s and their 40s, which is good, but they didn't have that, that background and they didn't understand the intensity that can go into it. And I saw quite a few people who would just, they would disappear for a month and then they would come back and you would talk to them and they picked up right where they left off. What they were doing was probably healthy. We can hope it was healthy, but when you see that, I think it's a pretty good guess that they're not working out at an intensity that's going to really help them make some kind of progress. Now, when we're dealing with our own clients or when you're looking at yourself, if you take a break and you pick up right where you left off, that is a good clue if you want to see some kind of a change, some kind of progress that you probably, the intensity or the volume probably wasn't enough to induce some kind of a change. So it's just information to assess. So what do we do with this? How do we apply this to daily life and clients and our own exercise? In the first place, I think just understanding the principle can help a lot because a lot of people are shocked by that. So again, the more, the better the shape you're in, the faster you become deconditioned. Part of what we have to understand about that is that is relative to your level of fitness, which means that if you have someone who's in really good shape, they've attained a high level of skill in whatever the activity is, and they take a break, there's a chance they're still going to be in better shape than the average person and still have a higher level of skill than other people in that activity. But they will notice a difference. So it's, it's relative to the individual. Understanding that is really important especially if you're working with athletes, because if you have an athlete that takes a break and they come back, they might still be in fantastic shape relative to the population, but they might feel like crap. And you need to understand that as a coach because you have to be able to help them work through that and get them back to a good baseline again. So part of that is managing expectations for clients, meaning if we know someone's going to take a break or a break is forced on somebody for any reason, helping them understand that when they come back and they get started again, they're going to have to reset a little bit. It, it can psychologically, I think it can help um, because again, if people don't understand this, they can get really frustrated when they come back and they don't feel like they did when they left. One of the ways that I utilize this to make it a positive is if I know that a client is going on a vacation, not always, but it, it depends on the client, it depends on the circumstances. But one thing that I'll do is I will build them up to a peak before they leave. So when they go on their vacation, they can just relax and enjoy the vacation and not worry about it. Sometimes when people go on vacations, they want to work out or they need to work out. Again, there's a lot of uh, variables there. But if they're, you know, if they're going to the beach, they want to relax, and I know they just need to get out of town and unplug. 
building up to a peak before they leave can be good. Either way that goes, when they come back, we're going to need to scale things back a bit. Probably going to need to adjust the intensity, adjust the volume, and then build up to a new peak. And if we, I think if we explain that to clients that they're going to be a little deconditioned when they come back, but it's fine because we're going to build up to a new peak, then psychologically, I think that's a lot healthier. So the last point and the flip side of this is if someone takes a break or if we take a break and they come back and they pick up right where they left off, most likely the intensity or the volume was not adequate to create whatever kind of adaptations they're going for. That is it for today's quick talk, which might have been longer than I wanted. But just remember, the better the shape you're in, the faster you'll become deconditioned. It's not bad, it just is. Learn how to work with it and you can make it a positive. That's all for today. Little things add up. Go lift.